Um, the only pair that's not in here is the white undertone. That is on the way to ship from California. Shout out to all my plugs and the motherfucking builds. Everybody takes such good care of me. It's fucking awesome. Let's see what we got first here. Ultra Boost Undefeated in black. Ooh. All right. It's definitely like 1.0 SDs Undefeated in black. Audi Zero. I don't think I have any Audi. I just wanted to check these out, but. Audi Zero in the camo. They're different. These are super light. These feel like they're made of nothing. Whoa, this upper is crazy. So the Audi Zero, adios. Oh, yes. Oh, and Y3. Oh, I don't think the blush is in here. The blush was supposed to be in this box. Well, maybe I didn't get the blush, so I thought I did. The Y3 in white, James Harden. Let's see, and then... They're Audi Zero in black. I like the way this one looks the best online. I don't know why I like it so much, but I did. So this is cool. It's a little more minimal. The Audi Zero in black. So all of those today came. I texted about the blush. I don't know what happened. Um, so maybe I did take an L on the blush without knowing it. But also, I probably didn't. Um, and there's this huge box. So kids motorcycle. I don't know what even came over me. I just wanted to check this shit out. Like, so basically, a lot of people ask me like clothes that I buy. Essentially, I buy clothes from people I can learn from. That's generally like who I, who and where I get my clothes from. So that's so usually it's Y3. Lately, there's been a little bit of Gosha in there, not to sound like a fucking snob. Kith. Some Adidas stuff, Adidas collaborations, things like that. Some random vintage stuff here and there. And then A-Life forever, but. And there's other stuff. I mean, there's definitely people. People send me stuff all the time that's awesome. You know, it's like random. But in general, I, I dig what Ronnie's doing. Um, I definitely dig a lot more Kiss stuff now. Like, I think the collaborations this year, some of the best work that he's done. And uh, it's not like goofy, like, you know, Rugrats and Power Rangers and shit like that. But we got a grip of stuff. This isn't even everything because the pants only dropped on the line. They didn't drop in the store. So the pants are on the way from uh, actually Bigfoot. Name hasn't come in a while. Secured those for me. So we got this long sleeve. Black long sleeve. Oh, I didn't realize that this was all embroidered. That's actually sick. I didn't realize that the box logo was embroidered on there. That's actually pretty fire. So we got the white hoodie, which I tried to get only the black hoodie in. Oh, does this have shit on it? Oh, it's just uh, a white hoodie, pretty fire. I tried to get the black one and I ended up with the white. Oh, these are all patches too? God damn, son. He like went in on this shit. Jesus. And this is a Britter? Yeah. Yeah. Ronnie killed this shit. So I got the white and the blue, and I only actually went after the black, but the dude in the store. Shout out to whoever and Kip who fucked that up. They gave me the wrong shirt. Oh, this is like a fucking... Dude, he doesn't... Everyone is so bad at advertising. This is like crazy, like, puff plastic. That's kind of weird, but that's also crazy because I didn't expect it. So that's crazy. Jesus. Dude, the jacket's gonna be insane. The white shirt is just like black. Here's the blue hoodie. Then we have the red and black with that little crazy box logo thing, cube. That's weird, I wonder how that feels on your skin. And then we have, oh, we got all of these, the white one too. I didn't realize, no, I hope it feels good since I got three of them. Seems like it's all right. It's like a little shit behind it, it's crazy. It's different. And then I actually picked up one of the jackets, like, I just had to fucking check it out. Who knows if I'll keep or wear this thing? I just had to see it. And I had to get it. And I had the opportunity to cop it, so I did. It's just crazy. I just was wondering how quilt, if it was this like quilt, yep. It's all quilted on the inside. Boom, son, ready for the races. So, damn, I look like I just fucking went home for the first time, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Race car, race car, race car, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Definitely a nicely made jacket. I mean, Jesus Christ. There's fucking shit. Like, these are all patches that are embroidered. It's very nice. I really feel like I'm about to race a car. That's the vlog for today. I will shoot some shoes tomorrow. 
It's been crazy. It's been long. I love you guys. Uh, hey, tomorrow's shoes will drop. Everything from this weekend's drop is shipping now. Still some stuff on the web store for once. Uh, so what, are you shipping all day today or something? What's going on? No, I have that safe flight. It's coming to fix the windshield. And they give oh. you a five-hour fucking window. 12 to 5. Nice. I'm so going to run wore, home. So you saw you wore that. Can we explain that you don't have a massive... <laughs> well, I, don't, I can't <laughs> I mean, explain Well, that. let's not... All right, well, the shadow that we see in these diaper ass... Dude, throw <laughs> those pants away dude these are the best running -ers. why because it's like wearing they're, nothing they're, at all yeah they're tight at the bottom it's like wearing nothing the wow, pockets are tight so when I put my headphones on it holds the phone it's not like bouncing around and hitting okay. my leg well that shadow puppet you see right there is not his fucking dick it it's, is it's not it's literally just fucking a, like a weird fold in the pants every time I'm editing I'm like it looks like my man just got done shooting a fucking scene that's amazing I hate those pants running from here I wouldn't be in I'm gonna put an emoji over it Someone said I wore gray pants like the next day after I roasted. Didn't you just roast Earn for wearing gray pants? I don't have a beef with the color. I have a yeah. beef fact that they look like they were modeled after a fucking child's diet. Yeah. Oh, Dude, that coat. Uh oh. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. I saw the money. I just wanted to do that. Right. It's a thousand. I can feel it Let's in here. It. It's two thousand, but whatever. That means there's a hundred twenties here? Mm hmm. Easily. I guess you're right. You don't know nothing about no money, dog. Get the fuck out of here. I used to. Acting like you know how to, you used to know about money, then you got married. Get the fuck out of here. No, I'm not. When I used to hustle in college, yeah, there's a lot of cash. Married. Sad music plays. You're like, I used to be a little, I used to be. If you fucking throw that in the air, I'm going to fucking beat you. You already got people trolling me. Because now, now there's trolls. Now you've created trolls that think, that try to, well, this one dude's really mad at me, but it's awesome. This cycle drop is insane. The game is great. Oh, I talked to Diddy last night. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, good. We talked for a half hour, and then here's the irony. We're getting disconnected to you. Oh, did you lose money? He goes, no, no, he goes, no, he actually did it. He actually did it. But he goes, I'll call you right back. I'll call you right back. And I'm like, he's like, I still have time. I'll call you back. And I'm like, okay. And then I go through a no call zone, and uh, I, I come out, and there's three missed calls, and he's probably like, this motherfucker. My blushes didn't come in, though. Really? Yeah, they were supposed to be, and I hit homie up, and I was like, hey, uh, did you charge me for blushes? Yeah. They're not here. Fuck. And he's like, oh, I'll have to check. I was like, God damn it. I was like, I already told people I got him. Because I was like, I'll check him out. So now I'm going to have to fuck check him out regardless. I'm, like, uh, I'm getting fucking getting goddamn bamboozled into buying blushes. And that will become black. Yeah. That's cool, though. Dope. Yeah. I got worried. I like, first thing I cut was butter. I was like, oh, I got some butter. I was like, I wonder if you're not supposed to cut butter. I started getting all these like weird. Yeah. I wonder if there's certain things you're not supposed to cut with this. And I was like, not cleaning it. I was like, I wonder if you're only supposed to clean it a certain. Like I started getting yeah. all fucking stupid about it. Like, well, for the fucking but, money you spend. But I, I think get at it. the it's same like time, a, it's a tool. It's like people who get cameras and are like, oh, yeah. I need to be so careful. It's like, no, it's a tool, bitch. You need to use it. Wow, that's dope. Yeah, I mean, it's silly to me to like not bat an eye at things like shoes that are four, five, six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, whatever. Yeah, and then when stupid. the knife's four hundred. And be like, uh, no, I'm only getting a $40 knife. If you like nice things, you like nice things. Omar! Yeah. Hush, dude! Zip it. Jesus. Mm. Go to dog stuff. I had a conspiracy this morning, but I guess it's proved wrong. Why? It's Takashi 69's jeweler's daughter, who's Ling Ling. That's what her name is, Ling Ling, I'm pretty sure. And she's always flexing money. You've probably seen videos of her, like, little Asian girl. Yes. Flexing money. Is and this then, with the bad baby thing? Well, so that girl, Whoa well, Vicky, has the little, now Asian assistant, whose name is, like, Lil Tay or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I th was convinced this morning they're the same person. I, like, went deep, dog. I, like, went to her dad's and like one of the last posts she has is, of, is with her dad her dad's like she's going off to a private school like da 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 there's this new account for this little Tay she's got blonde hair that's been dyed and she's acting all ignorant and shit because of Takashi's whole trolling fucking yeah. existence I was like this is a business he was literally like yeah put my girl on <laughs> she'll look yeah. whatever yeah. so I started like looking into it this morning I was like taking screenshots of different people I posted something because someone asked me about it on Twitter and I was like he's like they're manufacturing trolls because they realize how profitable it is. Like, yeah, I showed it to Alex and two seconds. Yeah. Oh, I hate this little girl. I was like, yeah, I know. He's like, well, that worked. I like went deep. I was like, dude, it's a conspiracy. But then someone, someone on my Twitter was like, nah, man, that's not, that's not, that's not Ling Ling. Ling Ling's a national treasure. It must be protected at all costs. Are you sure? I like, took two screenshots next to him. She's like, he's like, dude, I trust me. He's like, they're not the same person. And then I started to feel racist as fuck because I just couldn't, I'm like, dog, I was like, I can't.
cannot tell these two people apart. It's amazing. You've seen The Office with the two Japanese ladies? No, I've probably seen like two episodes of The Office. Uh, like. Not perfect. Not trying to shatter someone's windshield, just being stupid, like threw some shit out the window and shattered a windshield behind it. I got kicked out of daycare for throwing rocks at cars. Really? God damn. My parents had to move me to a new daycare. <laughs> Another. How's that joint burning? Pretty good. Nice and slow burn. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, going to uh, LA. Today's Tuesday. Next. Oh. Now. Leave for a week. It's not a week. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's fucking. You're gonna miss that snowboard trip. No. Yeah, we're going Wednesday and Thursday. No. I told you last week. Bring brandy. No. What is this? This is good. This is gassy. Uh, I'm not real up. Sour white. I wasn't filming, but now I am searching for these shoes <laughs> for. Five, five minutes, ten minutes. Yeah. Sorry if it's a little blur. But we're gonna still. You're still searching. Yeah, I have no idea. Nice. They're where they needed to be. Did I kick your easy? Yeah, my white ones. <laughs> I didn't even see Appreciate them. Appreciate it. I'm gonna see if Safe Light, when they replace the windshield, lets me sit in the car the whole time and live stream. <laughs> We're gonna do them in the hallway. Yeah, Ern's gone, Ern has to go do his car stuff today. Day yesterday was so crazy, but today seems like it's a little more mellow. Oh, it's already almost 12. So um, yeah, I have a meeting in an hour, and then I'm gonna come back, and I have a little bit of work to do, but it's pretty low key. My meetings today all are just based on the tour stuff, and just kind of pitching, and getting funding, and kind of figuring stuff out. What's been the hardest to figure out? At first, I wanted to do this whole tour bus situation type thing, that was my idea, and just have someone else drive. But that's so costly and so much, you know, like hanging out with a third person, like a driver who doesn't know us and it's just weird. But now thinking about getting like a big SUV, completely graphic wrapping that and just staying in hotels along the way. So, or wherever, probably the route that we're gonna go, but it's still, as you can imagine, a tour for almost three months um, with a cherry on the top London to Tokyo is super expensive. It'll be great, it'll be awesome. There's gonna be a lot of benefits to the advertisers. I've worked out some really cool shit. And super cool benefits to the people who are on the tour or following along. People who show up at events or just following along on the internet. Try and make it fully interactive for everybody. Yeah, so I have a lot of big plans, but it takes a lot of planning to execute big plans. So that's what I'm doing. And then we have some new stuff coming this week. We're moving off Happy Cry. I should have some AI stuff dropping this week. I'll keep you posted. Of course, tonight is the shoe sale. So I'm getting rid of a bunch of shoes, like 50 some pairs, because I have to move out of this house, this apartment, in literally, literally two months, less than two months now. A month and 20 some days. So it's seriously fucking crunch time for me. Omar's chilling, Omar's eyes better. It's stayed in overnight, so I think we're good. It's all good today, huh? I fixed it. Hmm. I fixed it. Oh me. You sleepy. I'm tired from yesterday, I bet. <laughs> Today has been super long. Uh there are like 90 mile per hour winds right now. In Denver, it is crazy as fuck. I just left my gym. I just had my first meal, which was a salad for those of you that are keeping up. And for those of you motherfucking hating ass motherfuckers in the comments that don't know shit. So that's all over with. Finally home. It's a little later than I wanted it to be. The shoe sale will be probably over with by the time this vlog goes up, but it's about to be online in like an hour and a half. Getting into the swing of things, living life, you know what I'm saying? Just doing the damn thing. And so shoes. We're going to talk shoes. Shoe we're going to talk about, which bringing a lot of comments, you know, there's a lot of internet comments lately and it's fucking great. It's all fun and games and shit, but some of y'all, man, some of y'all really 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 I don't even know what to say but just just some of y'all but this is the very Omar dog hair friendly NMD which again I'm gonna go ahead and admit for the record there's dog hair on it but it is what it is for the record um, when I first saw these shoes the mock-up that Yeezy Mafia posted with Rest in peace, Yeezy Mafia today, at least. Their account was suspended on Twitter, but it's another story altogether. I'm sure there'll be plenty of YouTubers covering that story. Um, but it's also crazy. But Yeezy Mafia posted photos of these that were just like uh, illustrations, and it wasn't this color, it was the other colorways. Pretty much all of us were not feeling it. Also during the time, like Shoemageddon, there were just so many shoes dropping all at once. It was around November, first of the year. I remember just everything. It was just like, there were so many shoes, so it was really easy to kind of just disregard certain things, not check them out, whatever. So um, I'm just giving you the, 
reasons and excuses as to why. And then just like the change in the upper, you know, like human beings, myself included at times, we are resistant to change. And I, I think that's really just what the initial response was for a lot of us. I know a lot of people out there cop too, but a lot of us kind of got used to what we got used to. Then there's a lot of people that complain that NMDs were dead and they shouldn't be doing them anymore and they should change something up and da 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 da. But then once they change something, well, some people stopped caring. I didn't stop caring. I was just kind of waiting for the triple black version, which I said from the jump. I was like, ah, oh, maybe the black version I'll cop, which I did cop. And now I'm like super pleasantly surprised, kind of kicking myself for not copying. Well, I was kicking myself for not copying more, but now I've copped every color in existence, I'm pretty sure. I think I have every single color of the shoe on the way now. So if that can give you any kind of inkling as to what I think. Yeah. And they're on sale. So pretty much every pair you can find on sale, like half of them are on sale on adidas.com. So there's really like no hype behind it whatsoever. Gladly no hype behind it. These have flown completely under the radar and the NMD has been improved. Let's get into the shoe and actually talk about it. Obviously, all black upper. Uh, you have varying lines. Uh, the tightness of the fabric changes a little bit from the toe. Where the laces start, the knit seems to loosen up a little bit. Not in your foot, just you can see how tight it's woven. It's just, it's just woven a little bit tighter in the toe box. And then you have all these straps that come across. They're not straps, but the tooling, the reinforced stitching on top of the primate going in opposite directions. So at first, people, and myself included, again, look at this and like, what the fuck is going on? You guys completely changed the way the NMD looks. But at the same time, people were complaining about too many camo NMDs. People were complaining when they flipped them inside out. So in the realm of PK NMD, they did something different. But not only did they do something different, they did something different on purpose. So the name of this shoe is the NMD STLT. I do not know what STLT stands for. I know that the only other thing I've ever heard it used for is short term, long term. I have like a strange theory that it's called the NMD short term, long term. This is a theory. I could be completely wrong. Someone from Adidas might text me as soon as this hits the airwaves and say you're a stoner but that's a good idea uh, but i think they made some improvements for this so that you can wear it longer and then so it's a little more comfortable which basically kind of comes down to the upper it's also like a pretty big stretch no pun intended because they're still not like an all-day shoe it's still an nmd but i did find myself wearing these for longer without take because usually i wear an nmd for like half i don't usually wear it all day i wore these for like four days what are you doing in there get out here I wish like four days. Like these have not left my feet other than to just like try something else on, um, go to the gym, what have you. But like these have been my, like what I've been wearing all day throughout the weekend and they're awesome. So these strap, these, the tooled lines that go across, um, if you look at it, if you look at it from a profile view, it kind of even, you can imagine these being strapped that kind of holds your foot down into position a little bit better. Now this isn't, this isn't dramatic. You're not feeling like a lockdown. It's not like a basketball shoe or anything. But there is a little bit better lockdown in it than a regular NMD, like a regular PK NMD. This is a, well, this isn't a regular NMD. This is the friends and family pitch black NMD. Does not have any of that tooling. A lot of people were comparing these, saying they look all really similar. They really don't, but I, I guess. I mean, this still has more of like a bluish tint than a pure black, a bluey gray tint. This is like straight up black and gray, but it's a different shade of gray. The gray that is peppered in on this one is more gray than it is blue. Changes, which I really, really like, is that there's no more lace systems. There's no more of those little plastic lace dingle bobbers hanging out there you don't have that it goes into the shoe which I really that's that's probably my favorite improvement is just the no lacing system the collar the ankle collar in itself has been shortened down a little bit uh, you don't have like quite as much material see that's been trimmed down just a little bit and then as far as trimming also goes they now to me fit completely true to size this is a us 13 and my toes are i don't think the upper is as deep as a regular nmd so that i think that it forms to your foot just a little bit better than prior models the knit itself has like a different kind of softness like a different sort of almost even yarn texture to it that's not really present in the other shoe different kind of knitting it's really just I don't know, it's a different. Regular Adidas NMD stuff here on the back, business as usual, pink inlay on this one, which is a nice little touch, but it's a little thing. But yeah, I mean like overall in hand, like these are a different shoe. It's still an NMD, it's still an NMD silhouette, but there are improvements. They didn't just slap lines on it haphazardly. As simple as it may seem, but when I did the Maker's Lab with Ben Harath, that was one thing we talked about a lot, is just using the uppers and, add, and using material to reinforce instead of adding actual pieces. So I mean, if you can imagine an NMD 
AMD with a bunch of straps going around it to lock it down, we would all be like, yo, what the fuck? This is a compromise. This, this AMD still falls in line with making it look like a super futuristic shoe. And a lot of people don't like it, which is fine, but I think that that's sort of a testament that Adidas is still a step ahead. And it taking a while for people to adapt to it is not a, is not evidence of a bad product. It's evidence of, evidence of a fickle consumer, which makes a fickle market. The, this certain pair right here is not on sale, but all the other ones are. The yellow pair, which I don't know if it only came out in Europe or not, I only find it in the UK. So that pair is on the way too. And I'm super hype about that because those color inlays on those other pairs, you can really see in the knit. The yellow has like blue hits. I think the red has blue hits. There's all kinds of shit that I'm interested to check out. I'm just like super hype on the STLT. So yeah, and I wish I knew exactly exactly what it meant, but my theory is cool too. I can live with my theory. I think that's it. All right, I'm out. Peace.